Okay, so I've now finished the very first part of this project. I've done all of my tracing in every single section and my name is on the back. So I'm now ready to move on to the coloring section. So I'm gonna put this under here just so that I don't get Sharpie on my table. And the color scheme is really up to you, but what's most important is to make sure that you're consistent. So I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna make sure that all of my B's are the exact same color. So what you might even wanna do just to help yourself out is put a little dot of the color that you wanna use in the B's so that you don't forget that each of these B's has to have the exact same color. Now, what you also wanna make sure of is that each of the in-between sections has the same color. So here's what I mean by that. Outside of the B, in between the B and the U, I want this section to all be this color. So I can go ahead and I can put that in while I'm doing my planning. Okay, now this might be a little more difficult for you guys because somebody else might use the marker that you want while you're, um, while you're working on it. But I just want you to remember that you have to color each in-between section the exact same color. So you'll notice that even the inside of the bees, which I'm gonna do shortly, are also going to be the same color. It doesn't matter which color they are, but they all have to be the same color. Um, the insides of the, in between the Fs, is all gonna be the same color all the way around, okay? If you don't do it the same color, you will find that it won't, um, it won't look as good and the letters will become much more recognizable. And the whole point of this project is you kind of want the letters to be hidden. People know that there's a word in there, but they have to kind of um, put a little effort into finding it. So I'm gonna go ahead and color this entire thing in and I'm gonna put the video on a time lapse, but I want you to remember each section has to be a different color but it has to be consistent. So all the, in, all the insides of the bees have to be the same color. And that color should be different from all the in-betweens of the B and the U, for example. All right, so here comes the time lapse. <laughs> 